Hey everybody, welcome back to Spars Outdoors. And before we get into the fishing report and the ice conditions, etc., I want to talk a little bit about my sponsors, which I'm going to leave links in the description below for you guys to go check them guys out. Uh, I want to thank Runkle. If you guys have not checked out Runkle, go to Runkle.com. Use my discount code spall 2 runkle on anything they have there from their reels, which are phenomenal. You guys have seen the videos. If you have not, go check those videos out. Runkle makes amazing reels. I took my I took high dollar let's just say I took high dollar reels off and put and put runkles on them and they outperform them ten to one. Um, their dry bags, their fishing accessories, go check them out. Go check out runkle.com and like I said, my discount code, I'll leave it in the description below. And then let's talk about thumping plastics. Dan Gark, man, he's a hell of a guy and his plastics work. They work he's got the split tails for walleyes, he's got the ice fishing baits, and and he's got just phenomenal plastics. Go give him a check out Thumping Plastics on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, let him know that you heard about him through me, and I'm sure he'll work something out with you. Uh, plastics like these right here, man, these 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 are killer plastics for panfish, hands down. You know, and he's got them all different shapes, color sizes. Check, check Thumping Plastics out. Also, go over to Eagle One Bait. Check out Chris right there. He's got some amazing, amazing products as well. Wood, I want to get into Widowmaker tungstens. Wow. Ever since I've got them Widowmakers, I have caught so many fish. And, and I always catch fish, but, the, but for them tungstens, they do not twist as much. They have a, they're very well balanced, and they are designed unbelievable. Unbelievable designs on those, and, and they work. I've not had one I put on that has not caught fish. Go check Widowmaker out, Facebook, Instagram. Let them know, again, let all my sponsors know that you, you heard about them through me. Uh, just great products. Go check out Arctic Spinners. We've caught many salmon, walleyes, pike, bass, crappie, you name it, Arctic Spinners. They, they have amazing spinners. Go check those guys out. Give Camo Jojo a check out. Their camera is amazing. You guys have seen those videos. Very reasonable price absolute hands down the best cell cam that i've ever used so check out camo jojo be sure to go check out buck scent pads right here man he's got all the, just just go check them out you'll see what i'm talking about he's got the thermocell pads that you put in that i that i've shown in the videos he's got the acorn the white oak acorn the asterisk the peanut butter and you name it he's got it they are amazing products. They work. The scent drippers that you guys have seen in the videos for the mock scrapes where I hang them, absolutely amazing products. Buck scent pads. And I also got a thing that he sent me. It's called Chum It. It's about, I don't know, 18 inches long, 16 inches long, something like that. And it's got the same thing as the scent dripper where you release scents through the water and chum those fish in. It's chum It is what it's called through Buck scent pads. So check them out. Uh, certified Marine Service, if you need your boat worked on, that is definitely the place to go. Pete Hodgins is his name, and I also work for him too, so uh, check him out. He's over, uh, he's right here in Port Huron, over off Water Street next to the old office bar. Best mechanic in town, hands down. Uh, Spars Painting, you need some painting done, get a hold of me. So, John Latham Custom Repilas, you guys have seen them work on my videos. You guys have seen the painting. You guys can see them at any bait shop. Hands down, the best painter around for Rapalas. John Latham Custom Rapalas is the way to go. You will be seeing so much content. I've been using his products for many, many years. John's a good friend of mine, and his products are hands down the best. You can ask anybody along the St. Clair River, Lake St. Clair area, and they're going to tell you John Latham Custom is the best Rapala painter around. So, Go check out John Latham Customs. He's got baits over at Hook One. He's got baits at Dip Net. So you just check out John Latham Custom Rapalas. Uh, you can message him yourself on Facebook. Let him know that you're you're a subscriber to my channel. You've seen his name on my channel. Uh, John Latham on Facebook. So check him out too. That's it for the sponsors. Uh, let's get right into the fishing report. We were down ice fishing today, yes, we went back after the guy fell through this, that, and the other two guys went through yesterday, and we were down there today, the ice hardened back up, but conservation officers come down on the ice to check people today, and the conservation officer went through. Um, I didn't want to film that, just, <laughs> I did not want to get that on film. Um, the fish are there, 
very, very, very good fishing right now, but the ice is very, very, very iffy. So I, I am recommending don't go, if you, especially if you're not experienced, don't go on that ice. Um, let's head right up to Seed Wing. Um, the river did freeze back over, which kind of sucks, but when that river was unthawed the other day, they pounded perch in Seed Wing. And they got some big jumbles. They're still catching bluegills off the dock and some nice crappies up there too. So if that's you guys want to take a little trip, head up to Sea Wing. You guys can catch some fish right there in the marina. Go to Alexander's Bay. They they'll help you out with everything you need. Um, come way back this way. I don't know anything that's going on right now up in Caseville, as in for the lake trout or anything like that, or their ice conditions. Uh, we do know that Port Santa Lake and Lexington Harbor are still fishable in open water. Things are starting to skim up. Lots of salmon still in there, the Atlantics, the Cohos, and steelhead are showing up, so you can go chase those around. Water got dirty with that north wind, so something for you guys to go after. Um, right down here in Port Huron, the wall, I started picking back up off the wall again, jigging, so that is something else for you guys to look, look at. If you want to go try to stand out there in the cold and jig up some walleyes, you could do that right off the boardwalk. Um, I know a guy personally was down there with a cane pole, whipping with a cane pole by the Huron ship, got six walleyes an hour and a half the other night, so... There's something to think about too. Like I said, Lake St. Clair, fish off docks, good to go. Find some open water. There's some perch fishing going on in the open water spots. They're still getting some, but everything's starting to skim back up because we got these few cold nights here. Um, so I expect that open water fishing kind of slow off too. But if you got access to docks, if you got access to private spots where you can drill a hole and fish safely, do so because the fish are in there and that's just it. If you got spots to go to, go there and you will catch fish. But I recommend do not go on that ice unless you absolutely know what you're doing. I'm going to be down there tomorrow and I'm going to be doing some ice fishing right there behind Sportsman's Direct. Come check it out. You know, if, if you guys want, just fish off the docks. I'll come up and talk to you. Say, hey, Spars Outdoors, I'll come shake your hand. I'll be down there tomorrow fishing. So uh, that's about it for the fishing report. That's all I have for the fishing report for the week. Like I said, I want everybody to go check out my uh, sponsors in the description below. If I can leave a tag or, a, or, or something in there to jump to their site, I will. But if not, they're not hard to find on Facebook, Instagram, or online. So, um, like I said, there's just tell them you've heard about them through me, and I'm sure they'll cut you guys some slack and give you some good prices. Runkle, especially. Use my discount code. I'll leave that in the description below. And if you guys love ice fishing, them gloves that I, that I showed in that video are absolutely amazing. They are the best glove I've ever used. And I'm not, and I'm not the guy to sit here and try to, I'm not here to sell products. And my sponsors might get mad at this. I'm not here to sell products, but I'm here to tell you what works and what I'm using from my sponsors works. So I'm, if, if, it, if what I get works, I'm going to let you guys know, and I'm going to give you the honest opinion about it. You guys know, you've seen other sponsors that were on my page and all of a sudden they're gone. Well, there's reasons behind those things, guys. I want my viewers to use what I'm using that's producing, that's being productive for me. I want my channel to grow based on this guy's not full of bull crap. He's telling the truth, like I've said many times, not sugarcoating, not doing any lying. I'm getting straight to the point, giving you exactly the what I'm using, the exact details, everything. I'm, I'm sharing my honest, honest, honest reports with all of you. So I, I'm hoping this channel keeps growing. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Like this video, it costs you guys nothing but means everything to me. And just keep helping this channel grow. I hope to see you guys out on the water and I'll be glad to come up and talk to you and teach you some things if you need taught. And I'm sure you don't, you know, and I'm sure there's guys that do. If you need some help, I'll help you out. If you don't need some help, hell, let's fish together and have a blast, man. So thanks everybody again for watching Spars Outdoors. And that's your fishing report for the week.